welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having the best day. I am hanging out today in Pizza Planet and I just had the best slice of pepperoni pizza like of all time. We all know that the pizza here at Pizza Planet is super good, but today it was like extra good. But before I leave, I gotta grab a soda because I am dying of a little thirst here, people. Whew, all right, thank you again, sir, for the soda. I uh, I hope you have a good day making some pizza. All right, I'm gonna walk this way for a minute. This is really weird. Guys, do you see these twin babies just like sitting out here in front of the nightclub? Oh my gosh, and it seems like they're lost. They're saying, where do we go? I'm not sure, I'm scared. And this guy over here is worried about them too. Oh no, I gotta check in on these girls. Are you okay? What's going on here? Chris, what do you think? I mean, I think that it is not good to see two twin babies left alone on the side of the street and especially in front of a nightclub. Babies are not allowed in nightclubs. So lady, we're lost? No, we're not okay? <gasps> oh my goodness. And this man is asking if these are my kids? Uh, no, they're not my kids. Where's your mom well, and or dad? They look so sad and alone. That is not good and they don't know where their mom or dad is. They left us here, we lost them. Guys, are you seeing this? This is crazy. Who just abandons babies on the side of the road? That's gotta be a crime or something. I don't know, it's just so, so crazy. I feel awful for them. I'm hungry, we're so hungry. Oh my gosh, I need to help you. Oh, can you help us? Oh, oh my goodness. I think we should get out of here. I'll take you to my place and get y'all some food. I have no time to waste. I gotta invite them to my family quick before those people run us over again. We gotta put this one in the car. Okay, Charlie, and then we're gonna pick up Chrissy and put her in the car over here. Oh, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to put them in the front seat. Oh gosh, I hope they don't fight. Let's go home and get you some food and get away from this crazy night. I'm sure it's been a super long day for you. Whoa, oh, oh man. Eyes on the road, Brittany, eyes on the road. You have children in the car. I just can't believe it. It has been five whole years since I adopted those twins. And I can't believe it's been five years since like nobody's come to find them. But you know what? I've adopted them as my own and uh, oh, oh my gosh, <gasps> the time. <laughs> ah! The girls are gonna be late for their first day of kindergarten. I, I made them pancakes, but they're not down here to eat them. Oh man, I gotta go see what they're up to. It sounds like they're jumping on their beds again. Oh no, these girls are quite the handful. Good thing they're cute. But guys, hello girls. It is time for school. Oh, oh my goodness. What is going on here? Hello. Good morning. Charlie, uh, where's your, oh, oh my, <gasps> Christy's still asleep. Oh my goodness. Ah, Christy, you have to wake up. Charlie, wake up your sister. It is time for school. You guys are gonna be late. And that's a trait that I have that I do not wanna pass on to my kids. No, 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 no. <gasps> Uh-oh, Christy says she doesn't wanna wake up, but come on, your first day of school. I'm gonna jump on the bed <laughs> just to make some emphasis. Hello, wake up, sleepyhead. Come on. So sniff, sniff. Those pancakes I smell? Yes. <laughs> but you have to get up first before you can have them. Because there is nothing better than starting your day off with a nice set of pancakes. Guys, comment down below. What's your favorite breakfast? I gotta say, mine are pancakes. But girls, okay, I see that you're kind of dressed and Charlie's up and ready for school. Are you ready for your big day? I know I'm super excited. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous to have you guys leave the house for a full day without me, but I, I think you'll be fine. Uh -oh. <gasps> Charlie said, um, no, wait, what's wrong? Said, I don't wanna go? And Charlie says, no, she doesn't wanna go either? Uh-oh, yikes, guys, that's not good. Why not? They're probably a little nervous. I know I was nervous on my first day at school. She said she doesn't wanna go to school. Christy, what about you? The other kids could be mean? Oh, no, 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 mm -mm -mm. Hold up right here. You girls are strong and I'm sure you're 
are going to have the best day. School can be intimidating, but they got this. And you know, it's gonna be okay. Oh, Chrissy says you really mean that? You sure, says her sister? Even if you get scared, just know that I'm always here for you. You know, you can send me a text or, or call me. I'll be there in just a minute. But you are gonna be perfectly fine. And you're gonna make some new friends. It's gonna be so fun. Said, so, oh, can I bring my unicorn? Oh my gosh, of course you can. But girls, uh, we kinda gotta get a move on. The school bus is gonna be coming any minute and those pancakes are getting cold. So how about you come downstairs and eat before you go? And you can even bring your unicorn. Come on, girls, let's get moving. All right, come on, come on, follow me. Oh gosh, I hope those pancakes are still warm. Oh, I actually, you know, it's a little weird, but Charlie likes hers in the fridge. So I gotta get those out for her. Oh wait, oh no, did I eat them? Okay, no, there they are, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay, over here, hold on. Now make sure to put your dishes in the sink. I've been trying to teach them to clean up after they eat, but that has been a nightmare. But look, it seems like they're super excited now. They had their pancakes, so they are good to go and conquer the world. It's gonna be such an awesome day, and I can't wait to hear all about it once they get home from school. <laughs> I am so excited because today is the girl's 16th birthday. I cannot believe it. Time seriously has just flown by. But oh my gosh, they're gonna be home from school soon. I gotta finish up making this jello cake. I don't know why they love jello cake so much, but hey, you know, it's their favorite thing. So why not make them their favorite cake on their special, special day? I am so excited. I've also planned a little party in the backyard for them, and I hope that it surprises them. Okay, I'm gonna put the cake down and stand in front of it. Yes, yes, perfect. So that way they have no idea. Oh my gosh, they're home. Oh, but wait a minute. They look so sad. I, I can't believe it. Is everything okay? You look so sad. It is like rule number one. You cannot be upset on your birthday because it's your special day. What is going on, girls? You need to tell me. Oh, Christy says, I don't know. Just been kind of bummed out lately. <gasps> I'm growing up and it's scary. Okay, guys, yes, growing up can be scary, but it happens to everyone. And it's something that you can get through and you'll be fine. Don't worry, you got this. You're a smart girl and you can get through it. But I feel so bad. I didn't know that she was so worried about growing up. I mean, I was too when I was her age, but it's okay. Things are gonna get better. They always do. Yeah, she is smart. <laughs> Charlie doesn't think she is. No, 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 no. You are both smart and amazing girls. Don't ever, and I mean ever, think otherwise it's so so true said charlie you're like the smartest girl in school it's true charlie you do have straight a's but i don't know what to do i'm kind of at a loss today so that's not what daniel said at school today <gasps> Wait, who is this Daniel putting my girl down? Mm-mm, no, mm -mm, I will not have any of it. Wait, the cutie? Oh, oh no. What if this is the boy that she has a crush on? Yeah, it was him. It seemed like he shut her down. <laughs> it seems like Christy has the right point. She said, what a loser, forget about him, Charlie. It's true, you don't need a boy to tell you that you're smart or pretty because you should know that about yourself on your own. Look, let's forget about him. I have a surprise for you. Look, a jello cake. <laughs> Are you excited? Hold on. The surprises get better. And I put a Z because it, it's a special thing, right? Wait, there's more? Yes, yes! Now turn those frowns upside down and follow me outside. Come on, girls. We have a surprise. Da -da -da. Look, it's your birthday party! Woo! I am super excited. Happy birthday! For you, I got you both a skateboard and the new makeup palette that you've been dying for. How awesome is this? I mean, I don't wanna pat myself on the back, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job being a cool mom. <laughs> so this new makeup, yes! And 
You both get new boards. Yay, Charlie's super excited, and I think Christy is too. She's like trying on all her makeup already. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I really think that this is gonna help the girls have a better day. And you know what? I think it's time to dance. Yes, woohoo! <laughs> oh, yay, I am so excited. It looks like these girls are having a super good birthday now, and this is such an awesome moment. I really have loved being their mom. <sighs> Okay, guys, I have to admit something. I'm a little sad today because my girls have moved out. They bought their own house, which I'm super, super proud of them for, but I mean, that means they're not gonna live with me anymore. And they moved all the way across town and sure, it's for their good, they're just growing up, but I'm gonna miss them. They're like my best friends, but I am almost to their house and I'm just so proud of them. I can't wait to see what it's all about. So whoa, whoa, oh, oh boy. Uh, well, I guess, <gasps> Guys, check out my parking job. I would say not bad. I'm getting better in my old age as a mother, which also, can we comment on how it's been like 20 years and I am still looking good. Thank you, time, you have been good to me. Okay, <laughs> so enough about me. It is time to go see my girls. <gasps> Look at their house. Oh, it's the perfect starter home for two young girls. Just getting their foot here in Bloxburg, but we are going to knock. I'm I'm not just gonna barge in. I'm not a nosy mom like that. And I called them, don't worry, they know I'm coming. I'm not just showing up at their house. Maybe I'll do that down the road. But right now, I know they need a little bit of their space. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yay, they're so excited. Oh, how beautiful are they? They have grown up into the most gorgeous girls and they're smart and they have good jobs. I'm so proud of them. Okay, they're telling me to come on in. Whoa, oh my goodness, girls, you have outdone yourselves. Can we quickly talk about this spread? They got water, they got grape juice, hot dogs, tacos, eggs and bacon, a salad. I, I can't believe it. Oh, they say they learned it from me. It's true guys. If I I am having people over, I, I go all out. I get a lot of food. You girls are amazing. This house though, I need a tour. I, I need to see every inch of it because I'm so proud of you and all the hard work that you put into moving here. So you are the best mom? No way, you're the best. But look, you are a little far from home. I'll try not to cry, but this is an emotional day. I mean, they just moved out and now I'm an empty nester, which means I have no one at my house but little old me. But she's saying, yeah, we moved out, but we moved closer to college. Oh, and you can always text and probably, she said, stop by or something. Of course, I'm so proud of you too. I just, I, I can't believe it. This is awesome. Christy is so sweet. She's like, honestly, mom, thanks for everything you've done for us. Oh, I mean, it was nothing. That's what parents do. Without you, we'd be out there alone. This is making me so sad. I'm gonna try not to cry. Oh, I, I guess I really did make a difference in their lives, but I don't know if they understand how much of a difference that they made in mine too. I mean, I learned so much. They're so sweet, girls. It's totally my pleasure. It's been the best few years of my life. Sure, it was stressful at times, like trying to get you up to go to school. <sighs> it, it's okay because it was all worth it because look at how awesome y'all turned out. This is so good. <gasps> Chrissy's saying you taught us a lot. Now <laughs> we can make it up to you. Hey, how about we start with uh, getting in on some tacos because those tacos look awfully delicious. How about we taco about some food? All right, I'm gonna take a seat and enjoy this awesome moment with my girls having some food before I leave them and before they go off to college. All right, girls, let's dig in. This food looks amazing. I don't care what you say. I'm going shopping. We don't have time to shop. We're going to Hawaii. I don't care about Hawaii. I want new clothes. The plane leaves in 14 minutes. I do what I want. Hawaii can wait. I don't care if you don't make it on the trip. I'm out of here. Where did my sister go? Did my sister abandon me? I think we've got everything we need for our slumber party tonight. Are you sure, Britt? I could buy more beans. No, Sophie, we are chock full of good snacks. So come on, let's go. I'm so excited. Last one outside's a rotten egg. Move it, Eliza, Oh, wait, I'm sorry. 
Hey, hey, hold on! You hear that? I do. It, it sounds like a baby? It sounds like it's coming from over here. <gasps> Oh, that baby does not sound like it's in a good mood. Let's go see what's going on. Little one, is everything okay? Nothing is okay! Everything is awful and my life is a mess! My family abandoned me! Well, that does not sound good. This is no way for a baby billionaire to live their life! She's an adorable baby billionaire? Well, don't you want to help me out? Adopt me! I'm not really going to adopt you, but I can help you find your family. But Brit, our sleepover! Well, hey, I guess... While you're abandoned, do you want to come to our sleepover? Yes! I want to buy every snack in the ah! store! Hey, little one, get, get back here! Excuse me, ladies, uh, can I help you? Excuse me, Baldy, I have a request! What is it? I need all of these things shipped to Brittany's house immediately! Whoa, 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 um, no, we can take it ourselves. We don't need this all shipped to my house. Wait, come on, let's see how this plays out. Chilling with a billionaire can be fun. You no, know, little one, I'm, uh, not used to taking orders from a toddler. Well, get used to it, buddy, because this is your new life. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. And if you don't do what I say, I will fire the entire grocery store. After I buy it, of course. Please do not do that. I'll have all these things brought to your house at once. Okay, so here we are, home sweet home. This is your house? Why is it so small? Jeez, little one, are you gonna pay the bills or something? Sure, it'd be cool to have a super massive mansion, but I like my house. <sighs> That's what all poor people say. All right, let's start this party! Oh, I'm so ready! We rented the best movies ever! Hmm, what is this thing over here? It's a popcorn machine! Do we eat it or something? I mean, I don't know what to do first. Never had a sleepover before! You've never had a sleepover before? Everyone in daycare is poor, and they'll never come over to my mansion! Well, I excited that I'm here for your first sleepover. Now, should we start the movie? That's your TV? Yeah, this is my TV. Why? It's like the tiniest TV I've ever seen. You have a laptop or a computer, right? Yeah, of course I do. Why, what's up? Take me to it immediately. I'm buying you a new TV. Um, Britt, can I speak with you privately real quick? Girl, what's up? I'm starting to rethink this whole baby thing. She seems like a total brat. She's lost, and I wanted to help her, so we gotta do that. Excuse me? So I used my phone and ordered you a new TV, but I'm gonna need more money because I want to buy us matching Range Rovers. Don't you think that's a little much? I know that you're really upset about being abandoned, but spending money won't make you happy. I want Range Rovers now! Ah! Oh my gosh. Relax, relax. Ah, I'm getting so tired. I think I'm gonna fall asleep. Yo, did this thing just throw a tantrum so hard that now it's asleep? Uh, I think so, so I think it's time we put her to bed. So Lexi, what do you want to do today? I want to go shopping and I want to spend all my money. Okay, so we're here. What are you looking to buy? Everything, but only designer. <gasps> it's Lexi, the baby billionaire. Wait, what is going on? Uh, let me go grab you a bottle of uh, mineral water. <gasps> Make it snappy. Billionaire Lexi, I'm so sorry, but we don't have any more mineral water. That's unacceptable. You are the worst. Get lost. I don't want to see your face. Lexi, that was not cool. What are you talking about? The way you were just so mean to that employee. It's not okay. That's how, like, everyone in my family acts, so... You can't just be rude to people. That's a really bad quality to have. Yeah, and so is being poor. I'm here to shop Brittany, not learn life lessons. Brit, what are you doing? You're too poor to shop here. Millionaire Melissa, what do you want? I was here to spend all of my dad's money, but now I'm here to laugh at you. <laughs> Isn't that great? <gasps> it's billionaire baby Lexi. Hey. <laughs> Ugh, Melissa, what were you doing in last year's clothes? Ugh. Oh, um, uh. And did I overhear you being rude to Britt? Well, I, I didn't mean it. Only poor people act like you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm glad she's out of here. I mean, I am too, but why were you insulting her? Because she's only a millionaire. <laughs> How pathetic. Excuse me, um, I have like a brand new scarf that I just got in. Would you be interested in looking at it? No, it's summer. Who buys scarves in summer? Just stop 
stop bothering us, okay? Okay, Lexi, I've had enough. Your attitude is awful. That girl's only just doing her job. What is this job? People have to work? Yeah, not everyone is born into riches like you. I think it's time that you learned a very valuable lesson. You should get a job just so you can see what it's like. Isn't it just a beautiful day by the pool? Yeah, Mom, it is so gorgeous. Wait a minute, I haven't seen Lexi. Where is your sister? Um, she's probably, uh, doing horseback riding. Well, weren't you supposed to be watching her? Did you leave her in Hawaii again? No, I, I didn't this time, I promise. Well, I have to go downtown for my croquet lesson. When I get back, I'd like to see Lexi. A ta-ta for now. I have to find that little brat as soon as possible. So this is where I work. We are here to teach you how to appreciate some hard work. Hard work? No, that doesn't sound fun at all. How come I just can't hang out here and get a manicure and Dead. Oh, come on, it'll be good for you. Guess I'll try this whole working thing. That's the spirit. Oh, it's Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm here for my 4.30 appointment. Perfect, right this way. And Lexi, you're gonna take the lead on this. Ta-da, what do you think? Ew, my hair is awful, I hate it. But you said you only wanted a small trim. Yeah, lady, we did exactly what you wanted. No, you did like the worst job ever. I'm not tipping, bye. Uh, right, I really don't like the way she spoke to me. I worked really hard. Oh, really? Well, think of a time that, I don't know, maybe we are at the store and you spoke to an employee just that way. Well, it didn't really feel nice when someone was talking to me that way. Exactly. That's why you treat people the way that you want to be treated. Hey, Britt, what's up? Lexi, this is my best friend, Kristen. Girl, I was wondering if maybe you had time for a manicure today? No, I'm a little busy, but Lexi here might have some time. Yeah, I could do it. No problem. Actually, Britt, I don't know. No, it'll be fine. Trust me. Come on, Lexi. You just have to give it a shot. Okay, here we go. And we're done. What do you think? I love it. I feel beautiful. Thank you so much. Here's a tip. I'll catch you later, Britt. I have to ask, what are you thinking about this whole work thing? Honestly, I had no idea that making people feel good was really fun. And I'm really happy that I made Kristen's day. Right up. Tired. Can we call it quit? Of course. You worked super hard today. Sweet dreams, Lexi. I have to tell you, taking care of a kid is so much work. Oh, that must be Soph. I think she's here to hang out. Hello? Uh oh. Hi. Now, can you let me inside? I want to be in this gross neighborhood. There's so many poor people in like starter homes around here. I assume you're Lexi's sister from your attitude. Yeah, I am. I know you have my sister. Oh, yeah. I've <laughs> been taking care of her. Thank goodness. I thought maybe she'd be living in a dumpster by now, but I'm glad she's at like this bigger dumpster. No offense. Why did you abandon your sister in the first place? Because she's so annoying. I honestly ditch her like all the time. That's awful and very irresponsible. No wonder why she's a spoiled brat. What's up, girly? What is this? You just let anyone into your house? Oh, you must be Lexi's sister. Look, if my sister doesn't come home, my mom's gonna cut off all of my money. And I can't live without my money. What did you just say? There you are. You don't care about me? All you want is money? You're the worst. I don't think Lexi's quite ready to go home yet. Yeah, lady, I think you should leave. Get lost. I will get lost, but just as a friendly reminder, I have way more money than either of you, and I'm gonna ruin your lives for this. Got it? Right, I had such a great time at work today, though. I helped this girl do her hair for prom, and she said she felt like a princess. Made me so happy. See, I told you that money isn't the only thing that buys happiness. Yeah, you're right. I'm starting to see that now. I'm so glad. Brit, thank you so much for spending so much time with me. Don't mention it. It's been really fun, and I'm glad you're finally having a good time. Uh-oh, is that the police? Stop right there, you criminal. That's her, officer. That's the kid. Kidnapper? Kidnapper? What are you talking about? Officer, she's just been using my sister for her money. Using someone for their money? That's my idea. You belong in jail. Officer Finkelberry, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not a kidnapper. Do you think I'm stupid? The missing baby billionaire is right here at your house. Her older sister abandoned her and I saved her. Is that true? You know what? Whatever. I'm sick of this. Let's let the baby decide. Hey, baby, what do you you say, hmm? Now remember, little one, if you don't come home, we'll both get cut off and be poor forever. No, I want to go home. I don't want to be poor. No, 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 please. 
please, please, Officer Finkleberry, we can talk about this. We're not talking about anything. You're going to jail. Mom, look who I have. Lexi, I am just so happy to see you. And I'm happy to see you too, Mom. Can we hang out now? I actually have to go. There's a fashion show, and I am starring as the head designer. You get to be with your sister. Bye. If you think we're hanging out, guess again. So have fun being home alone. No one cares that I'm back. Did anyone care that I was missing? Officer Finkleberry, come on, please. You know I didn't kidnap that kid. Quiet down, you criminal. You're interrupting my TikTok time. I'm starting a TikTok now. Officer Finkleberry, come on. Let me out. You know I didn't do this. Obviously. Of course I know you didn't do it. But you still have me in here? That rich girl paid me off. She told me to keep you locked up in here for good. So now you're stuck in here and I'm rush. What the heck? Let me go. Fat chance, loser. Now just sit here quietly and stop bothering me. Uh, this is so annoying. Now I'm stuck in here for gosh knows how long. Hey, oh my goodness. Look at you looking like a criminal in a jail cell. Guys, I'm so excited to see you. I use all my money to pay your bill. So you're free. Oh my gosh, you two saved me. Britt, honestly, you saved me. And I want to apologize for choosing money over friendship. And money doesn't make me happy. Spending time with you and my other friends is what does. Let's get out of here. Come on, girls. Ice cream's on me. Oh, guys, I was just taking the longest nap in Bloxburg. Oh my gosh. It's like 5 a.m. Okay, I, I gotta get up. I, I gotta do something with my day. I swear I was just sleeping for two seconds. And look at me now. It is 4 a.m. It's practically morning. But guys, I've noticed that some of you are actually sleeping on my channel, which means you're not subscribed. So you gotta make sure that you subscribe to my channel right now and you leave a like on the comment and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything that I post. And then that way too, you won't be sleeping on all the awesome videos I have. All right, so wait, hold on. What was that noise? It sounded like a loud bang outside. Uh, oh no, I'm a little nervous, but I, I gotta go see what's up. H hello? Someone out here? Oh no, there is someone out here. Look, little Bella 501. She's a legit crying baby in the middle of the street. Look at her. She is so sad. It, it, she kind of smells a little bit. Are you okay? Where's your mom? She's lost. That breaks my heart. And it's scary. It's still dark out. So I I'm gonna take this baby in until we find her real parents. Oh my gosh. I, I guys, I don't know what to do. I I'm not very good with babies. They're cute and all, but they kind of just stress me out. Are you hungry? What do babies eat? Oh wait, maybe I could give her baby food. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there is baby food. Okay, okay, cool. Let's see, give baby food. There you go. She's just crying into her bowl of what looks like guacamole. Oh no, she said this is nasty. Oh yikes, um, uh, what do I do, what do I do? Um, do you like hot dogs? Oh, and she said, ew, <gasps> no, hot dogs are really good, baby Bella. You don't know what you're missing. Let's do grapes. Okay, here you go. We'll give you some grapes. How about those? Give those a shot. Yummy. Yay! Okay, perfect. So we found a food that she likes. I think maybe next I should like give her a shower or something or, oh no. <gasps> Guys, do you think her diaper needs to be changed? Oh, I'm not ready to do that. I, I don't really want to do that. Oh, she said she wants a bubble bath. Okay, okay. Uh, I am going to quickly draw you a bath and you stay right here, baby Bella. Don't don't go too far. I gotta make sure the water is warm. Okay, uh, use. Oh, oh, oh I don't want to get in there. Oh gosh. Oh man. <gasps> Hold on. Ah, where is she going? What is she doing? No, 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 baby Bella. You need to be careful. She left my house. <gasps> no, 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 no. Wait. Hold on. Ah, get get back here. Where did she go? Oh. Uh, yes, and guys, I, I do have a green screen in the back. How do you think I make my thumbnails for the videos? I need my own green screen. But where did that baby go? Ah, she's running away. No, come back here. Bella, I have more grapes. Grapes? Yes, yes, perfect. Okay, now come with me and, and don't run away because that's just not safe. Ah! Oh, she's really stinky. I gotta get going. I gotta put this girl in the bathtub. So give me like 
five minutes. Whew. Okay, so I just put baby Bella in the tub. Oh, oh, look at her. She's freshening up. She's still crying. Oh, oh God. Oh no, she's got soap in her eyes. That's not good. Oh, she's crying, I think, because of the soap in her eyes. But guys, I, I was able to you know, get all those flies away from her. Hmm, maybe I'm not bad at taking care of a baby after all. This could maybe be fun. Let's see how it goes. Guys, I just can't believe it. It's been four years and I have been taking care of sweet, sweet little Bella. And today is her birthday, yay! Woo! I love a good birthday. And especially if it's someone that I care about and I care about baby Bella. It, she just like happened into my life and it was one of the best days ever. And all right, so we are making her her favorite, which is a jello cake. I mean, who doesn't love a good jello cake? Am I right? Okay, so I'm gonna place this over here. Place gelatin cake. And guys, look at all the balloons I got her. I hope she's as excited about her birthday as I am about it. I think it's time to wake her up. Oh my gosh, it is almost 1 p.m. That girl has been sleeping all day and I can't let her sleep her birthday away. Five more minutes? No, no. Okay, you have slept long enough. It's your B-Day. Come on, come on, please wake up. We have so many fun activities to do today. Oh, <laughs> and now she's excited. Time for a few surprises. Let's go, you little birthday girl and Mr. Squiggly. We got things to do down here. Surprise! Check it out. This cake is all for you, Bella. So the OMG Jello cake. It's your fave, right? And you can eat all of it because it's your birthday and you can do whatever you want. That's why I love birthdays. They just make you feel so special. <laughs> she says it's all squishy. Yeah, I thought that was your favorite part about Jello cake, but okay, hold on. Before you have a bite, she's gonna be so excited, guys. I have one more surprise. Are you ready? I'm ready because I'm excited and I'm super, super excited. So, ooh, surprise. Yes, and you can even bring your jello cake if you want, but you have to follow me, but close your eyes. Do you think you can do that? I know you're only five years old, so that's a little scary, but I promise I will lead you in a good direction. Ready? Are you ready? <gasps> okay, let's go this way, Bella. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh gosh. Oh, should I carry her? Ready? The anticipation is killing me. You can peek now, Bella. I can't wait to see the look on her face. Oh, she is speechless. Yay! <laughs> a giant teddy, all for you. That is my favorite thing about giving gifts to people is they get so excited. I love to see the reactions. This is awesome, guys. I never thought that taking in a stray baby would be so much fun. I'm gonna call him Mr. Barry. Oh. Yes, I love that. We should get him a top hat. How cute would that be? He'd be like the professional Mr. Barry. Y'all, she just called me mommy. <gasps> this is such a big moment. I've been taking care of her for a few years now and she just called me mommy for the first time. <gasps> My heart, this is so cute. I cannot believe it. It has been a full 10 years and time has flown by. Little baby Bella is no longer a baby Bella. She is a teenager. I cannot believe it. Oh, perfect, the unicorn channel's on. I'm gonna go get Bella because this was her favorite show growing up and maybe we could watch it together. I'm gonna knock on the door before I enter. Hello? Bella? She's saying go away. Bella? Come on, that is no way to talk to your mom. I I'm going in. Okay. Whoa, ew. Oh my gosh. Not only does this room smell, but Bella kind of smells too. Girl, when was the last time you were off that computer? Your room. It's an absolute mess. There are pizza boxes, tons of laundry everywhere. Oh my gosh. When was the last time you got up? Said, so what, I know where everything is? Yeah, I used to say that to my mom too when I was younger and that was just keyword for my room's an absolute mess and I don't feel like cleaning it. <laughs> I mean, I did know where everything was, but that's besides the point. Do you want to watch some TV with me? That would be so fun, wouldn't it? I mean, way much more fun than playing your game. She said, ew, TV, nah, I'm a game. <gasps> Guys, I was really hoping she'd want to hang out with me. Come on, please. Wait, what did she just say? She said, I haven't watched cable in like forever, mom. Yeah, okay, well maybe TV's not as 
fun as it used to be, but please, I want to spend time with you. I miss hanging out. I don't know, guys, she just doesn't seem to want to be my friend anymore. <gasps> Mom, I'm busy, I'm losing focus. You know what? No, enough is enough. We are going to spend quality time together. I'm your mom after all, so no way, Bella. I'm putting my foot down. Enough game. Put that down. Should I can't just pause it, Mom. It's multiplayer. I don't care. I am your mom and what says goes. Are you listening to me? Hello? Don't you want to pause your game? Don't make me cut the power. Because I will. I'll go right down to the basement and turn off all the lights. And then you're going to be sorry because you really won't be able to pause your game then, Bella. So don't you dare. No, I will. I told you no more games. Look, I didn't even have to turn the power off. She turned it off on her own. Bella, look, I, I don't even think I want to hang out with you anymore right now because I'm a little too mad. You need to clean this mess or no computer ever. I said, I'll do it later. Gosh, no, Bella. If you ever want to be on that computer again, you are going to do it now. This place smells and so do you. You need to take a shower. It's getting out of control. Fine, go away then. Fine, 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 fine. I'll leave you alone, but I'm going to come back to check in on you and make sure that you've cleaned. Do you got that, Missy? I said, fine, I'm already mad about my game. Sorry, but you got a clean girlfriend, so I am going to leave you to it. Bella used to be so sweet, and now that she's a teenager, she's not really that sweet anymore. Breaks my heart. We were best friends, and now it's like pulling teeth to get her to do anything. Ugh, teenagers, they are such a hassle. <laughs> Okay guys, Bella turned 16 just a few weeks ago and I have quite the surprise for her. I've been really, really nervous about it, but I think she is finally ready. All right, let's go get her. She's practicing the drums. It, it, it is kind of getting late, Bella. It's, oh, actually no, it's super late. It is almost 2 a.m. Bella, um, can you quit a minute? We gotta practice for the band. I know your band's super, super important to you, but I have something that's like super exciting. Come on, please, please, please. I have a surprise for you. Are you ready? Do you think you can handle it? She's saying, oh no. It's good, I promise. It's not gonna be like matching Christmas sweaters like last time, which I was excited about. I know you weren't, but that's fine. I said, mom, what did you do? Follow me. I hope she's ready and I hope she's excited. Ooh. All right, ah, check it out! It's a car, your very own car. Are you excited? I am like crazy, crazy excited. So is this for grandma? <gasps> no, it's for you. I didn't want to get you like a brand new fancy car because it is your first car. So you are bound to make some mistakes. So uh, it's nice. <gasps> Bella, I mean, it's a car that you didn't have to pay for. It is wicked nice if you ask me. Come on, it's a learner car. I said, but I don't know how to drive. That's what you think. And she's worried about the rain. Girl, you're fine. I'll teach you. You teach me? <laughs> Why not? Come on, I'm a good driver, right? You guys think so? Comment down below. Don't you think I'm one of the best drivers you have ever seen? Here we go, here you go. You get behind the driver's seat, sister. I'm gonna sit passenger and I'm a little nervous, but you're gonna do fine. So step on the gas, easy. Don't floor it. No, whoa, no, oh, oh, God. Uh, we're, we need to put it in drive. It's not broken. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> okay, okay. Oh my gosh. We got it. I, I, I believe in you, okay? Yes. Oh, we're doing good. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> whoa. Oh, whoa. That was close. We were close to that tree. Whoa. <gasps> you almost hit that lady. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Slow down. She said, I got the need, mom. Uh -oh. The need for speed. Oh my gosh. Guys, wish me luck. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Bella, Bella, don't go into the- Oh gosh. Uh, guys, I, I think I gotta take it from here. Uh, she crashed the car. Oh man, this is gonna be an expensive fix. <sighs> guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Today is gonna be really tough 
day. Bella is heading off to college. I, I mean, I'm so excited for her and I've been helping her pack and get ready, but I hate to say it, I'm really gonna miss her. I mean, she's become not only my daughter, but like my best friend. It's gonna be really emotional. I hate the thoughts of her leaving and me not being able to help her if something goes wrong, but I gotta trust her. I gotta trust that, you know, I raised her right and everything is going to be perfectly fine. She is just about finished packing up, so I'm gonna knock on her door and just check in on her, make sure she's doing okay, because low-key, I'm not doing okay. I'm really, really sad. Hey, hey, Bella. Guys, look at her room. This was once her nursery and now it's got all of her stuff packed up and she's ready to leave the house. How is the packing going? Man, she said, it's pretty good. I got the last boxes. Okay, oh, are you excited? I mean, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but you're gonna have fun and I'll be fine here without you, I, I think. She said, yeah, I totally got this. Oh, I I'm excited for her, she definitely does. You'll do great. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, mom, you're all right. Oh, I mean, I know, sometimes I'm annoying. I get that, but you know what? I love you and I've just always wanted to make sure that you are okay. Oh, before she goes, she said, I just wanna say one thing. What is it? She's saying, thank you for raising me. I know it was tough. Of course, Bella. You know what? It was my honor. You're awesome. She said, you've taught me so much and to be a total baddie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you've learned a few things from me, but you've taught me a lot too. You taught me to be patient and a good person. I love you, girl. We understand each other. It's true, that's kind of like the bond that we have, but you should probably get going. You got living to do. And I, I don't wanna hold you back any longer. She said, oh yeah, I'm gonna be late. Oh, that is one thing she learned from me, which is uh, not really being on time often, but we're both gonna work on that. It's something I need to get better at, but okay, she asked if I'll walk her out. Of course. So let's go. We're gonna have the moving people come and ship the rest of your things off to school, but okay, she's getting in her car. I'm gonna, you know, stand over here just to make sure that she drives off nice and safe. Um, okay, but before you go, wait, she said, you know what, mom? What is it? I dig this car. <gasps> Finally! I mean, she said it, she thought it was for an old person before, but she loves it. I think it's because she's appreciative. But enough of the sadness. I can't take it anymore. My heart is just gonna explode. Good luck. You're the best and have fun. I'm gonna let her go. All right, I'll see you, Bella. Whoa, 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 oh gosh. See ya, I hope you get there safely. I'm definitely gonna miss her, but it was so awesome being able to raise Bella. I hope she has the best time in college. I know I'm gonna miss her, but that's okay. Mom, Dad, where are you? I'm gonna go look for them. Mom, Dad, the storm is getting really bad. Oh no, lockdown. Oh my gosh, this storm is getting crazier by the minute, guys. I hate thunder and lightning, it freaks me out. And oh, wait, they're talking about it on the news. Builder Man is not your dad, but in other breaking news, this is by far the worst storm in Bloxburg in years. Everyone, you're in for a crazy ride. Ah! Oh my gosh, even the guy on the news seems worried. This isn't good, I hate thunderstorms, I hate him, I hate him. Oh my gosh, my outside flamingo Mimo is out there. I gotta go check in on her and make sure she's fine. I cannot afford to lose that flamingo Mimo. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs. Mimo, are you okay? I gotta bring you inside. Ah! Oh my gosh, Mimo, was that you? Wait, oh, that, that wasn't you. There's a baby under the tree. Hey, you, are you okay? Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, what are you doing out in the storm? I'm lost, I can't find my mom and dad. <laughs> You can't be out here. This is crazy. Thanks, nice lady. Of course. Now, what did you say? You lost your mom and dad? I did. I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. That is terrible. I'm so sorry. I gotta go find them. I could be in trouble. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second, little one. I don't think so. There is no 
way I'll let you out in that storm. It's getting really bad out there. I just want to go home. Look, I know you do, but I'll help you search for your mom and dad once the storm passes, okay? Okay. Oh! All right, and then just a minute. Hey! All right, that about does it. You should be all set, Brent. Oh my gosh, Sophie, thank you so much for getting the power back on at my house. No worries. What are best friends for? And uh, besides, it's time to repay me with some hot cocoa. <laughs> Works for me. Come on, Soph. I love seeing the power back at my house. Oh, my pineapples! What in the world is this adorable thing? Oh, Sophie, this is Myla. And Myla, this is my best friend, Sophie. Hi there. Um, hi, lady. Uh, Brent, I didn't know you were looking for a roommate. Where was my invite? Oh, well, she's not a roommate, Sophie. She actually got lost in the storm. Yikes! Oh, my goodness, that's awful! I know! <laughs> what if I never find my parents again? <laughs> well then, little one, I'm afraid you're gonna just have to join the circus. Ah! The circus! No, 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 no! Oh, my gosh, Sophie! What? I don't think the circus seems that bad. She's terrified of the circus. We've gotta go apologize to her. She's really upset as it is. Ah, fine, all right. I guess I'll go apologize. Hey, little one, little one. Where, where'd you go? Sophie, she's by that jukebox. Oh, good eyes, Brett. Hey, little buddy. Um, I'm really sorry I scared you. I thought you'd like the circus. I mean, I love the circus. Yeah, and don't worry, Mila. We're gonna find your parents. You guys really think so? Of course, and Sophie's coming with us. Ah, what, what, what? I've got karate lessons later on tonight. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Soph. That's what you get for scaring the baby. Oh, man. Oh, this is just so weird. Hey, Sophie, have you found anything yet? Don't worry, little one. Maybe Sophie's found a clue. I hope so. So, uh, didn't find anything. I found this old hot dog. You think it's still any good? I don't know if I would eat that if I were you, Sophie. Ah, worth a shot. Oh my gosh, Soph, who knows how long I've been sitting there? Ah, it's okay. Don't worry about it, Fred. I'll be fine. Well, this is really weird. I don't understand how there are literally no signs of your parents anywhere, Mila. I know. I just want my family back. What if something bad happened? <laughs> Wait, what's that? Maybe it is. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Oh, no. oh my gosh. Um, hey, Lila, is that your dad? No. I know, Dad. I hate kids, but get out of my house. This ain't your house, bud. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Some dumb idiots left it empty, and I found it. So finders keepers, losers papers. Um, excuse me. Those idiots are this little girl's parents. So, you need to leave this house right now, or else I'm gonna send my army of slugs to attack you! Ah! Brit! Oh, wait, we should probably get out of here. That sounds pretty serious. Oh, it is serious! Ah! Uh, Brit, we need to get out of here. I do not want to be attacked by slugs! Fine, we'll leave, but don't you get cozy, mister, because we're gonna go talk to the cops. <laughs> Fine! Tell Mike Geraldo says hi! Dude, no! Come on, Myla, let's get out of here. Sorry, girls, the best we can do is put out a missing persons ad. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something more you can do. I'm afraid not, but hey, you left me your cell phone number, so I'll give you a call if we hear anything, okay? I'm sorry again. Thanks, officer. I'll look forward to your call. <sighs> Well, safe to say, that was no luck. I'm sorry, baby Myla. But I promise, we're doing everything we can and we will find your mom and dad. We just can't give up hope. It's true, Britt's right. But girls, with all this sadness going on, we need a little fun in our lives. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's totally true. Myla, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I don't know. Maybe we could go to the zoo? Oh, uh, about that. Yeah, Problem, small fry. Um, I was actually banned from the zoo. Wait, what? Sophie, why? That's so silly. Well, let's just say, long story short, I tried to free a giraffe and take it home with me, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and we're not exactly welcome back there anytime soon. But maybe we can do something else. Like, do you want to go get something to eat? Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. Brett, I'm starved. 
too. All right, girls, I know just the place. This place is supposed to have the best french fries in town. I'll be the judge of that. Hello, girls, how are you today? I am Steven, I will be taking your order. <gasps> Wait a second, what is this? Is this a child? Mister, you talk funny. What? This is ridiculous. No, 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 no. Ew, I hate kids. Get out of here. Whoa, dude, relax. Yeah, buddy, take a chill pill. No, 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 no. Get out of my restaurant at once. That's it. You've taken too long. Uh, so do you think we should get out of here? Uh, I don't know. What? Yep, we definitely should. Woo! Oh my gosh. Come on, girls. Get out of here. What the heck? Get out of my store. Get out of my Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, wait, no, 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 Myla, get back here. Where are you going? Myla, hey, hold on. <laughs> My life is terrible. Hey, don't let that mean man bother you. Yeah, girl, you can't listen to what everyone else says. It's true, and look, I know things seem a little hopeless right now, but we'll get better. You just have to believe that. You think? Of course. So why don't we go to the park and swing on some swings? That always cheers me up. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks for being so nice. Sophie, be careful up there. Yeah, I've got this grip. Watch me go. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sophie. Are you okay? <laughs> She's so silly. Oh, well, safe to say I will not be quitting my day job anytime soon. Miss Sophie, you're really silly. You made my day so much better. Aw, thank you. What? Get the call. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. So, what is it? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you soon. What is it? Girls, today is about to get even better. It was the police. They have an update on your parents. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I know, I know. They want us down at the station right away. There's no time to waste. So, you have an update for us? I do. Right this way, girls. What's going on? Well, we've got good news and we've got some bad news. Good news, we found your parents. Yay! Oh, that's awesome! But unfortunately, they didn't make it. They were in a terrible accident. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep, so that's why I'm here. You're an orphan now. I don't yeah, ladies, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about the bad news. Best of luck. All right, say your goodbyes. <laughs> Gosh, Myla, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too, kiddo. It'll all be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, time to go. Come on, little one. It'll all be okay. Jeez, <laughs> uh, Louise, Brit, I was not expecting that. Neither was I, so I feel terrible. And then I... I said to the guy, I will never have pineapple on pizza, you freak! Oh, wow, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, Brent, Brent, are you listening to me? Hello, bestie? No, I'm sorry, Soph, I wasn't listening, like, at all. Yeah, that's okay, I'm kinda used to people not listening to me, but what's wrong? Well, Soph, honestly, I just can't stop thinking about baby Myla, and how sad she probably is because she lost her Oh, yeah, I know. That's a rough one. It's been on my mind lately. I just wish there was something we could do to cheer her up. She's probably devastated. Well, why don't we go visit her? Yeah, so that's an awesome idea. I don't know. It's because I thought of it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <gasps> it's him. Oh, no, 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 not today, buddy. So, wait, what's going on? Thank you, what are you doing? What's that annoying voice? I need you to get off of my property, sir. Be quiet, lady. Hey, well, what the? Hey, dude. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to stay here and keep an eye on my security cams. But, Soph, I thought we were going to go see Myla. Sorry, Britt, but I don't want that freak taking over my house just like he did to Myla's family's house. So, go without me. Till her said hi. Okay, bye, and good luck. Here we are at the adoption center. Oh, this place is kind of cute. Hey, old lady, adopt me! What? Whoa, hey! Adopt me! What the heck? Yeah! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Wait, what the? Are you talking to me? I'm not a loser. Yes, you are. Yes, you 
more. <laughs> no! Loser old lady! Loser old lady! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. I'm getting dizzy. You guys run so fast. Take this! Oh, what? hey, it's a stop! What, what is going on? Hey, hey, leave me alone. Ah, I gotta get out of here. What the heck? No! <laughs> child? Well, actually, about that. Look, if you're not here to adopt, then you're just wasting my time! Well, no, I was just coming to check in on Myla. I know she lost her parents and she's having a hard time, so I just wanted to see how she was doing. No! I bet you're here to spy on me and take my job! Oh, I knew that Karen would get me in trouble when she spoke to my manager! No, ma'am, honestly, no, I'm not here to take your job. What? Get lost! You're a liar! Wait, what? That's it! Get out! Whoa! Whoa! Mouse! 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 Hey! Ma'am! What the- I said beat it! She's fine! I'll go! What is going on at that place? Ah, she tries to offer the vacuum! <laughs> Friday, that's amazing! Yeah, so it was crazy! <laughs> I'm sorry, Britt, but I just can't stop laughing. I would have paid good money to see that! It's not funny, bestie! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Oh! What's that? Ah, a notification! Huh? What, what are you talking about, So Let me just log in real quick, real quick! What are you looking at? My security cam! Ah, I caught him! Who are you talking about? Come on, Britt! Hey, wait, Bestie, put me down. What are we doing? Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> Just you wait. I want me out of here. Nope. <laughs> Not happening. Wait, Sophie, you can't be serious. I am, Brett. I am. <laughs> now, come on, as you were saying. Sophie, it's a little awkward. Are you going to let that guy out of there? Yeah, please let me out. No, I'm continue chatting. Well, like I was saying, Soph, I just really don't know what to do. The whole situation was crazy. Well, Brett, it's pretty simple if you ask me. I think you should go adopt Myla. Wait, really? I don't know, Soph. What if I'm not a good mom? What? Are you kidding me? Brett, you're an amazing person. Why do you think we've been best friends for so long? I don't know. I guess that's a good point. You could change her life. Come on, Brett. You're a waste of time. Go adopt Myla right now. You know what, Soph? I will. Hey there. Wow. Oh my gosh. You terrified me. Wait, it's you. Oh, what are you doing back here? Ma'am, I'm here to officially adopt Myla. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so you're not here to take my job. Myla. Yeah, ma'am, of course I told you I'm not taking her job. Yes, Miss Scary Lady. <gasps> right. Hey. So uh, you want to tell her or should I? Myla, I've got some real exciting news. What is it? I don't have to eat broccoli anymore. Well, no, not if you don't want to, but I'm here to adopt you. Oh my gosh, yay! I'm so excited, I can't believe it! Go get your things, kid. Oh, okay, yay! <laughs> Man, this is really exciting. I gotta ask, do you have any good parenting tips by chance? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what do I know? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're around kids all day. That's your job. I thought you'd have some kind of advice. Ah, figure it out. I'm busy. Okay. Great, thanks. Real helpful. Okay, Brett, I'm ready to go. Home sweet home. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Me too. Uh-oh, sounds like it's raining. Ah! Whoa, hey, Myla. Hey, 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 wait up. Myla, where are you going? Ah! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Myla, you don't have to worry. Everything's going to be okay. What if it's another big storm and, and something happens to you? Myla, come here. There's no way I'm gonna let that happen. You and I, we can face any storm together. You got that? Myla, hurry up! You're gonna be late for school! Oh my gosh, Britt, I'm so scared. What if everyone makes fun of me on my first day of school? Oh, there's 
no need to worry. You are gonna do great. How can you say that? What if I pick the wrong outfit? Everyone will make fun of me, and then I'll be known as a girl with a weird outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Not at all. I don't see what's so funny. Look, you don't have to worry about what people are gonna think of your outfit. People are gonna like you or you. It doesn't matter. You could be wearing like a hamburger costume. I hope you're right. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's the bus. Okay, make sure to grab your backpack and have a great day. I will. I'll see you later, Brett. Bye, Myla. Okay, guys, I have an awesome idea. So Myla's birthday is coming up, so I think I'm gonna redecorate her bedroom just a little bit as a gift for her. She will totally not see this coming at all. Let's hop in build mode and redecorate her room together. Okay, here we are. So her room is super, super cute, but she's getting older and I feel like some of this stuff might be a little too babyish. So let's just delete this bed and sorry crayons and markers. Let's pick out a good bed. Hmm, what do you think she'll like? Um, this bed. Yeah, perfect. Let's put that there and out we gotta move these nightstands just a little tiny bit. Okay, I promised her I was gonna get her a computer for her birthday, so here we are. She likes it. I think we're done and Myla's almost gonna be home from school. <gasps> so excited. Any minute now, she should be coming right through that door. Ah, I can't wait. I'm not good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I have the worst day. Wait, seriously? Oh no, Myla, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I spilled my lunch all over myself and no one wanted to sit with me after that. I'm really sorry to hear that, Myla, but I have something for you. I'm not in the mood for a surprise. Oh, but you're gonna love it. Come on, let's go up to your room. Fine. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Wait, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can't believe it, you redecorated my room? Thanks. You're welcome. I mean, it's just a start. I didn't do too much. I figured we could go shopping this weekend together. Thanks, Britt, for always finding a way to make these bad days better. I don't know what I'd do without you. Turn, turn, turn. You, you gotta turn, Myla. Myla, you gotta. What are you doing? You gotta turn. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Myla, are, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but the car's not. Oh, Britt is gonna be so mad. Oh, my gosh. What was that? My car! I'm sorry, Brent. I'm really, really sorry. Better luck next time. But, uh, my like, you are not coming anywhere near my car. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, so I'm so glad you guys are okay. Yeah, me too. But, uh, your car is definitely not okay. But, uh, I gotta get going. I'll catch you later, bestie. I'm hitting the road. See ya. Goodness, my car is totally ruined. I gotta go talk to Myla. Hey, Myla. Myla? Here you are. Myla, are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. You probably hate me now. <laughs> what? No, that was a total mistake. I don't hate you. Yeah, right, Britt. It was a mistake. Just like it was a mistake adopting me. What? Why would you ever say such a thing? Well, because I ruined your car. You must be so mad. Look, that's not true at all. I do not regret adopting you. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. And I'm just glad you weren't injured. I mean, my car will be fine. I can buy another car, but I can't get another Myla in my life. You really mean it? Of course I do. Now go upstairs and wash up. It's almost time for dinner. Thanks, Britt. No worries. I should uh, probably call the repairman though. Yikes. Oh my gosh, and this is the time that Myla and I actually did go to the zoo. I'm glad they lifted that ban. Oh, and then that time that we went to Dallas. So great. Guys, I can't believe it. Myla is all grown up and actually today she's moving out. And speaking of which, I gotta make sure that she is on track. Those movers should be here any minute now. Myla! Oh, hey, I think everything's all boxed up. Perfect. You didn't forget anything, did you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, great. The mover should be here in just a few minutes. Oh, man, uh, I'm kind of nervous. Going out in the world all on my own? I can't believe it. it's finally time I leave the house. Oh, there's no need to worry. You are going to do great. Hey, Mom, can I actually talk to you for a second? You called me Mom. You've never called me that. Oh, come on. Don't get all mushy on me now. But seriously, thank you. You changed my life. If you didn't adopt me after I lost my parents, I don't know what I would have done. You gave me 
a chance and you taught me so much. Well, as a parent, that's the least you can do. I'm just so glad I was able to help you when you were in need. Well, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Oh, say it ain't so. The movers are here already. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Mom.